Hey guys, this is KTS coming to you from my home. And yeah, my dog is going crazy for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, today's review is on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem's Villain Collection. So it's just like the Hero Collection. The Villain Collection is a little bit different. On the box itself, it says number 8326. Eight. That is the package number that this box is. Same color and everything. Same everything on the box. So mostly nothing really new. So let's get to the um the figures. All right. Starting off, we have Bebop, in which I like the how it looks. It has the 1987 toy line. Look to it. You have the Bebop with the turtle shell, shoulder pads, his fez, a little grenades, his vintage glasses. Only thing I don't like that much is his hair. Yeah, it looks like a turtle mutated on top of his head. Yeah, if you look closely, it looks like a turtle, like a turtle shell. Or if you look above, kind of taking these out of the package at this time, it looks like a footprint on his head. Maybe this is a reference, probably probably in the game the foot soldiers soon, but we all know. Overall, the figure looked nice. Got his little gym shoes, his weapons, his vintage drill gun with a model upgrade, his club. Yeah, I like how he got it on there. Wow. And flip it upside down, it says mom. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually getting good. So, same as the others. Yeah. Now, we have Leatherhead. In which, yeah, I like how this Leatherhead look. It looked more like the, the very first Leatherhead. The one from the 80s. The vintage... Crocodile Dandy, Dandy's hat, his bowie knife, his the vintage turtle trap, his vintage shotgun. A new item is his fishing pole, well, her fishing pole, and her double barrel shotgun. That actually have paint, sort of paint on it. Overall, I like how it looks. I wish the goggles will be are removable and his jaw opens up. I think no. No. It looked like it, but it does not open up. I wish it does. It would be nice looking if it did that. His tail actually moves and stuff. So yeah. Now these two right here. So you got Rocksteady. Fantastic look from the nineteen eighties Rocksteady. But with a new Triss. So. His shield. He has his vintage shield. His knife. And his gun. And his other gun. His arm is down there. To how big this mutant is. I like how it looks. Everything on it is very nice. Nice and clean. I wish they added more paint around his chain. And on his other one, so. But everything else so far is going good. Underneath is where you attach his arm. They show you that. So that's a plus. Now, this is the one I want to talk about more than anything. Instead of these three, I want to talk about him. A.K.A. Superfly. Fly Guy. All right. Can anyone just say this is actually Beckham and Stockman? If you look at the picture of Beckham and Stockman, people say, oh, this is not Beckham and Stockman. This is not Beckham and Stockman. If you look at the picture, he had the same color pants. The shoes are the same. The fess is the same. The tie is the same. And the white shirt is the same. And if you think about it, he has his vintage mutant gun. 
the one that he used in the 80s. Then his Fentis fly swatter, beakers, test tubes, and look like another gun or something, or a communicator. Not really sure. The best part is, the, the crazy part is, his wings are not really attached. So they, they did not tell us in other videos that people did, but you gotta attach his wings to him. And which, yeah, that's actually really good. Like you can actually attach his wings and stuff. So you can get a little bio history right there. There you go. Yeah. Overall, this whole set, minus Bailey, was roughly around $48, like $41. Because it was an Amazon exclusive pack. So, sorry that you see a box of chips or crackers because Princess is keep trying to get them. But yeah. I like how the set is. Now, the main one I'm looking for now is the hardest one to find. And that is Master Splinter. <sighs> I'm trying to get him and trying to refill him. Refill him for, my, for the uh, YouTube channel. And, for, and to add him to my collection. And that's the only thing that I cannot find. I try Amazon. Nothing. Ebay, they have them, but they want, like, people want 20 bucks for them. 20 or 30 dollars for them. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why would I why would I pay $20 for a figure that you can get at Target or Walmart for $10? I know there's Jackie Chan and all, but come on. This is freaking Godzilla. Wait, this is John Cena. And this is freaking Ice Cube. Shouldn't they figure be worth more than Jackie Chan's? I'm just saying. Then you also have the creator of the movie, Seth Rogen. So, come on. These three figures alone should worth more than anything. You got Ice Cube, John Cena, you can't see him, and you also have Seth freaking Rogan. So, not Seth Rogan. Seth Rogan. But yeah. But, Jackie Chan's figure, his figure is hard to find. So, if you guys know where his, where one at, or you have an extra one, hey, drop me a, drop me a line on YouTube, the AKTS. I have one for you. If you want it, it's yours. And I will get. I will drop your name into my next video for Splinter if I have him. So be sure to subscribe, like, hit the notification button for all upcoming videos, and much, much more. KTS is signing out. You guys have a good day. And if you want me to come, um, the next videos I'm going to redo, review after the Ninja Turtle movie drops, and after I review the movie, will be coming right gets. I will start doing his videos again. This time I will be doing the bucklers. The buckles. I already did the driver. The desire driver. With the magna um, buckle. And the boost buckle. So KTS is signing out. You guys have a good one. Bye bye.